All right, nerds. Welcome back to the race shop. Big Cat Racing product review. First moto product review we've done in a while today. EVS Web Pro Knee Brace. Full carbon frame. Uh, at the time we got them, they were the most expensive braces on the market. $899.99 for the set. I got them from a buddy who didn't like them. Congratulations to the Big Cat. You got some sweet braces. Let's get into it. First off, EVS Web Pro. Okay, comes in a set, like I said, $899.99. Let's look at them. This is the interior. You got a full neoprene liner with basically a five strap system. You have your top strap, your middles. They're all numbered, of course. You'll have which ones you're supposed to do first, which ones you're supposed to do last. And then you have this neoprene wraparound one that goes here, and it kind of protects from this being right against you. So, First, uh, first things, uh, they're decently comfortable. The number one complaint so far that I've had about them is durability. If you can look in here and see, all the glued parts are coming off. The neoprene's ripping in certain locations. Uh, this Velcro here is starting to get worn down. It's coming apart. That being said, they're very comfortable. I wear a large on the pod knee brace. These are a medium and they fit my legs good. They have the full coverage knee cup like I like when you do it. Now you have your knee cup here and your top cup. Like I said, they're full carbon framed, uh, full carbon framed. They're relatively durable. There is some marring which is kind of weird on the outsides here because basically all this touches is the inside of the pants and um, it's kind of weird that it marks up. That being said, like I said, they're still pretty durable. They move when you release. They're assisted back. I haven't gone into these because they seem pretty good. <clears throat> I would say, are they worth $8.99? Probably not. But they protect my legs. I haven't been able to hyperextend. They lock out right there. The full coverage knee brace offers that protection that you're looking for because sometimes when you have them and they don't have this top cup, if a rock gets in and hits you, it hurts really bad and you don't want that. The liner is super comfortable. I've even worn them without socks. I don't suggest it, but I have worn them without socks. The problem for me is just like it, they're breaking down at a rapid pace in the neoprene on the inside. And I feel like a brace that you know costs $900 for a set, that shouldn't be happening. Obviously, I mean, not that looks is a, a key ingredient into a knee brace, but they do look rad. So I think EBS maybe just needs to address the fact that this Velcro breaks down extremely quick. The straps are, are relatively comfortable. They're working really good. I don't know why this isn't made from the one on the regular straps because that wouldn't make it work great because the Brit... The straps are great, the frame is great, minus a little marring. The knee cup is great. The only thing with the neoprene liner, which is super comfortable, but you can see it's, you know, it's ripping in a couple locations. And this one just, I mean, I guess this one isn't really that needed. If it gets to the point where these don't Velcro down, I guess I could just cut them off because I don't really need them. But overall, it's a good brace, it's strong. I haven't hyperextended, so they're doing their job. Um, for certain people, though, like I said, I got these from a buddy, and the problem from my buddy was that this, I guess it would be a rivet right here, was pushing into his leg, and it was cutting his shin open, so he didn't like them, so he just, like I said, he gave them to me for free. So uh, he had a sponsorship from EBS at the time, and so did I, but I was wearing the RS9s, and he just gave me these, so I went to these. They're pretty good. Uh, I still race in my pods, just because I feel a little bit more comfortable in the pods for racing aspect, because that's when I'm really pushing my limits. But as far as, this is what I wear every single time I go ride for practice. When I'm not racing, I wear these. So they held up good. It's been a year. I'm relatively happy with them. Obviously, I just need to, I guess, re-glue it myself or see if they have a rebuild package from EBS. But that's your pod, or I'm sorry, that's your EVS Web Pro full carbon brace, $899.99. You know here at Big Cat Racing, we deal with five stars. This brace, um, I want to I give it four stars, 
but due to the durability issue of the straps and the fact that the neoprene liner is coming away from the frame, I just think that durability issue is too big to give it three uh, to give it four stars. So for the Web Pro, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give it three stars, but it's still a decent brace for sure. And like I said, I wear a large in pods. These are mediums, and they fit my legs really good. So you know that's the Web Pro. Check it out for yourself. Go search it out. I will obviously put up um, the stats from EBS themselves, but I just really wanted to tell you what, what I think from a personal standpoint. Strong, your knee doesn't move side to side. You can't hyperextend really very good, so that's good. They're super like durable on uh, the frame, the knee cup, and the actual straps. The neoprene liner needs some work. That's it, Web Pro. Remember, nerds, keep it pinned.